Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool way to, to improve the quality of your webcam video when you're recording from Camtasia. So if you're like me and you're doing training courses or YouTube videos, what have you, and you want to do picture in picture, but you've been frustrated with the uh, uh, poor quality from Logitech webcams like the C920 or the C930E, I'm going to show you a way to improve the quality and it's not going to cost you a dime. And that's what this video is all about. Let's jump in. We'll have a look. All right. So what you're looking at is Logitech capture but i'm recording this using camtasia 2021 and so let me just come over here to the left hand side i'm going to click on the number one input so that you can see uh, that i've got the logitech webcam c930e set up all right if i come down here to video i'm capturing full hd and if I click on this guy, you can see you've got three choices, full HD, which is 1080p, 720p, or 360p. So we're on uh, full HD for sure. And if I come over here to audio, my audio is going through my AT2020, which is this guy right here, through a Behringer audio interface. And look at the quality of the video capture. <laughs> you know, the difference between uh, Logitech capture and Camtasia is night and day. And so that's the first thing that I wanted to impress upon you in this video. So now look at what happens when you connect your C930 or your C920 and you select it and go directly from the webcam into Camtasia. So clearly there is some kind of a render codec architecture issue here with TechSmith. And it's been this way for a long time, and I just got fed up with it. I thought, you know what, there's got to be a better, a better way to capture a decent webcam video uh, with the software that we have these days. And so I've played around, you know, till I'm blue in the face with Logitech options, and I can't get much better than this. I can get it a little bit better, but it's just a pain in the ass. I don't want to have to do that every time I go to record with a webcam. So most people, they just, you know, ah, the hell with it. I'm going to use my G85 or my A6000. So that's how I sort of got to this point. You know, Logitech uh, Capture, Loggy Capture came out. I started playing around with that. And then just a few days ago, I went at it again. And, you know, when I selected Loggy Capture in Camtasia, instead of selecting the webcam, I got the video quality that you just saw. That's the impetus uh, for this video. So now we're going to walk through the four steps to complete this recording process using Loggy Capture or Logitech Capture. And so like I showed you already, you want to come over and select your uh, webcam of choice. In this case, we're using C930E, but it also works with the C920. Check your video settings. I'm using Full HD, which is 1080p. Check your audio settings. I'm going through the Behringer. I can see the levels uh, in the Loggy Capture working, so everything is good to go. You do not have to hit record in Logitech Capture. All you do is make these settings and then jump into Camtasia. So now let's do the Camtasia piece. So I'm going to come over here to the top left. I'm going to click on record and get a couple of error messages there. So now you can see my recording panel in Camtasia uh, 21. I'm actually using recording this with Studio 9 uh, so that I can record the recording panel because it's going to be invisible otherwise. I know it's crazy, right? But So in your recording panel, all you're going to do is set your screen. Make sure that you do not click on C930 or C920. You want to you select Logitech Capture like so. You want to select your microphone of choice. If you, you need system audio, click on that. If you want to verify your preferences, like your input settings, come over here to inputs, 30, TSC2. That's a new codec that's uh, come out with Camtasia 21. There's your 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second is your target capture rate. Pretty straightforward. Click on OK, OK, and then you're ready to hit record and away you go. So that's, those are really the first three steps uh, that you need to follow to do this process. Set your Logitech capture settings. Two, set your Camtasia settings. Three, verify your settings. 
uh, just to make sure you're recording 1080 or 720p, whatever you want to do, and then you're ready to hit record and you're off to the races. So let's review the four steps that I've covered so far to make sure everybody's clear on it. So number one, the first thing that you want to do is open Logitech Capture and set up your webcam of choice to 1080p, and there's no need to set the audio. Step two, you're going to open the record panel in Camtasia and set your screen to 1080p. So I've got 1920 by 1080. Your camera to Logitech Capture. Uh, the microphone, you can set it to whatever you want. Here I'm going through my Behringer, so that I've got set. And then you can leave the system audio off unless you need it. Now step three, what you might want to do is verify your capture settings by going to Tools preferences and inputs and what you'll find is that because you've selected Logitech Capture you're probably going to have a screen rate of 30 frames per second. TSC2 is your codec uh, and then 1920 by 1080 and then last but not least unless you know you can make some changes there if you need to but if not then all you have to do is press record and you'll have a much better recording uh, coming through Logitech Capture than you will coming directly from the webcam into Camtasia. Okay, so now you can see uh, in front of you that we've got the Studio 9 recording panel open. I'm, I've set it to full screen here, but I don't really need it. Um, I've set the capture uh, to Logitech Capture, and then um, you can't see the rest of it, but this is the Behringer uh, audio interface and you know pretty much the same old, same old stuff. Uh, just in an older version of Camtasia. Okay, so to wrap this one up, basically what I've shown you is how to improve your picture-in-picture -picture video for your Camtasia uh, videos or YouTube videos or training courses, whatever you have to do. I mean, typically in my day job, I've been shooting uh, PIP at 720p, 30 frames per second, because Camtasia, I couldn't get the audio video to sync at, at 1080p. And then just playing around with uh, Logitech Capture and Camtasia Studio 21, um, you know, I stumbled onto this method and it works in the older versions of Camtasia and the newer ones. I don't know if TechSmith is aware of this or not, uh, but it's definitely a problem within Camtasia with the codec situation, but there's nothing I can do about that. Now that I've found this work around, it's gonna save uh, me a ton of time for sure, because now I don't have to continually go into Logitech settings and make adjustments for contrast and all that kind of stuff. And it's really just one click. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, hit the subscribe and like buttons, um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.